Welcome back, everyone. Now to the latest on that horrific train crash in Hoboken, New Jersey, last Thursday morning that injured more than 100 people and killed a woman standing on the platform. Investigators have now interviewed the engineer who was at the controls. So far, he hasn't provided the information investigators say they need. The station itself is still so unstable. Investigators have been using a drone inside to survey the train in its final resting position. But they still don't have much new information about how fast this train was moving and what went wrong. NBC's Tom Costello has more. This morning, photos from the NTSB showing the extensive structural damage inside Hoboken Station that has kept investigators from gaining access to much of the train. Over the weekend, they did interview engineer Tommy Gallagher, who told investigators he'd gotten plenty of sleep the night before the crash. He said his cell phone was stored in his backpack during the trip and the train and brakes were working normally. He said that when he checked the speedometer, he was operating at 10 miles per hour when entering the station track. The engineer says he has no memory of the accident. He remembers waking up on the floor of the cab. 10 miles per hour is the posted speed limit, but witnesses say the train was going much faster. Another setback for the NTSB, the first black box retrieved from the locomotive wasn't working. No recording of the train's actual speed or braking action. Investigators hope a second black box still inside the train wreckage captured that data. Meanwhile, the body of the 34-year-old mother who died in the crash, Fabiola Batar de Crone, is now back in Brazil for burial. Immediately after the crash, Raham Perkins knelt beside her, waiting for paramedics. And I just told her, like, just breathe, focus on your family, focus on your loved ones. I'm here, like, I'm not going to leave you. Um, and she just, she fought. She really did try her best. Also this morning, renewed focus on New Jersey Transit safety record. Federal rail inspectors were so concerned about the culture at NJ Transit, they began safety audits over the summer, finding dozens of alleged violations and ordering immediate fixes. So I believe on initial look that there's a lack of culture of safety. The NTSB does say the signals on the tracks appear to be working normally, and they found nothing out of the ordinary on the tracks themselves. Sources are pointing to the similarities to last year's crash near Philadelphia that killed eight. An engineer who cannot remember what happened and witnesses who say the train entered the station far too fast. A couple Ford vehicles are being investigated because they might have the same issues that prompted an earlier Ford recall. Find out if you own one of them next.